Hey Johns, how you doing? Welcome back, day four of the Need for Speed Marathon. Today with Need for Speed Porsche. My favorite classic. So now I can read the chat. One thing I absolutely adored about this game was the handling. It just works so damn well in this game. This was one of my favorites, obviously, one of the creepiest cars. So this game has two big game modes, Evolution and Factory Driver. Evolution, you go through Porsche's history, you earn credits, you buy cars and you upgrade parts. In the Factory Driver, you become a Porsche Factory Driver. Evolution first. Evolution is more fun. I don't know, man, I like both. I really like playing both. It's like doing a different, you know, game mode in Gran Turismo. Alright, so you're greeted with the Evolution window. It's a 356 <laughs> tournament. When 1950, Porsche just became available. But you're gonna have to buy your car first. As you can see, your garage is empty. So you gotta fix that. And you have literally two cars to pick from. You can pick yourself the Cabrio version. Or you go with the Coupe which is a little bit more racy. It's more stable, you know, because you have a hard top, a bit more stable. If you put it into the car comparison, you can see it right here. That overall, the handling is better. And yeah, that's about it. The handling is better because the car is more rigid. <laughs> but I do think since we're at the beginning of the game, we can get away with a cabrio. Just gonna, just gonna pick a nice color. Even the interior, man, even the interior can be custom. <laughs> I have not done I have not done pink interior yet. That's actually a first. I've played this game for 23 years. This is the first time I made <laughs> I made pink interior. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, this is my car. It looks like a randomized car. It looks like one of those randomized cars that you buy from the used car market. Alright, first tournament, let's go. No money in, 5,000 out. <laughs> this is, oh, this is really hard on the eyes. <laughs> oh man, the entire, the entire window frame is pink too. What a terrible, terrible decision. You know, did you know that you can move the interface? <laughs> you, can have, you can have some really weird effects with that. If you put that over the car, like it's, it's extraordinarily distracting if you ask me. <laughs> Or you can drag you can drag every interface element around wherever you want it. And if you feel like you want to have like a Gran Turismo type of <laughs> interface, you can do that too. Just drag just drag that Adele down there. You get extra cash if you didn't damage your car. Not only do you not have to pay for repairs, if you get the save bonus for driving cleanly, you get extra cash, which is actually quite relevant in this game. So since we have no damages, straight to Corazur. How did I get this game running? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Just a bit of body roll there, what do you mean? <laughs> Classic Need for Speed tracks are beautiful. Yeah, artistically they did a really good job. Just making these tracks look good in my opinion. Planning to do the bonus events for the bonus cars? Yes, of course. Alright, are you ready for, to go for the first shortcuts? This one, this one's primarily good. Oh. Too fast. I can show you a trick how to make extra money. You buy a car for 10,500, then you repair it for 2,000, and then you sell it for 14,000. Capturing, and you made a profit. Infinite money glitch, yeah? You can can do that over and over again until you have not, in, uh, as much money as you want. It's compared to the regular speeds there. Yeah, so better handling, better braking, better top speed, better acceleration, just, just better parts all around. By the way, this is the track. I mentioned that I lost during the Need for Speed tournament. I was too fast and hit this wall. But I think it was the other direction. I came from the other direction. So I hit this wall on the way back. Like I was going for a shortcut that was completely unnecessary. It's not really fast though. But for some reason, in that moment I was like, I have to take the shortcut. I was not first. I was in first too, so... Crashed out, lost the race. As far as I remember, we were using... Turbos from 2000. 11 Turbo from 2000, the newest model that this game had to offer. Now, when I was when I was 11, I entered the Need for Speed Porsche tournament. Actually, I might have been 12 already. Huh? Let me think. Now I was 11, and the second one the year after when I was 12. So there was one in 2000 and one in 2001. But luckily for me, it was a double elimination bracket, so um, so I had the chance to have a comeback and win. I'm 34. <laughs> 
All right, I need to pick me up. Let's go. Time for some Medmonk amazing supplements in the description below. Too fast. Some damage. But dude, the drifting in this game feels so realistic. I absolutely love it. You know, modern age Need for Speed developers could learn so much from playing these old games. And I heard from one community member that they were asked if they ever played like the old Need for Speed games, like the people that were live streaming on the Criterion Twitch channel, and they said no. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that their handling is stupid. Like, that comes to me as no surprise whatsoever. But I think I'm gonna make some money with it. Once again, we buy a car that I think will resell nicely. Like the speed step. 1500 in and more out. I'm gonna sell it a little bit underpriced because I'm lazy. Now I'm overpricing it and then they will offer me usually around market value. Or in this case, actually more. Nice. That guy, that guy actually overpaid. Once again, can pick between a hot top and a roadster. Hot top being a lot better. Ah, I gotta say, like the bluish interior. And you can do that with every car. You get a nice 3D model. You get a picture of what the engine kind of looks like. But honestly, the interior, the interior of the cars is easily the nice, easily the nicest. It was a pretty cool feature at the time. And also a rough idea with the spare tires. You can even do the test drive if you want to, right? You pick, you pick a location and you can test drive it. Actually, I haven't done that in forever. Let's give it a try. I'm not sure if there's anything anything to it, but I think you just, you just get to drive. That would be something I would complain about in a new game. If a new game is only pick a car, a track, and go. But what this game has, it has charming environments, tracks you don't see anywhere else. But this track only exists. Oh, traffic! Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, you get traffic if you do a test drive, obviously. Right, you're driving, you're driving in the world. It's not a race day, so obviously traffic is here. You don't, you don't own the world. You share the world. I can buy upgrades too, but in the beginning, I prefer to save my money for later stages of the game. The songs from this game. You're listening to the original soundtrack of Need for Speed Porsche. The handling, uh, Simcade. The cars handle in a realistic fashion, and they do break traction if you just suddenly let go of the, let go of the gas and steer hard. Oops. Oh man, that was unnecessary. Unnecessary 120 bucks out of the window. <laughs> oh yeah, I can look around in the car as well. We have we have a command around the Moby Dick. I'm not sure if it's exclamation mark dick. Give it a try. First time I'm driving my dick with aerodynamics tuning. Oh yeah, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Your favorite Need for Speed game ever. Well, it's my favorite classic Need for Speed and I also think it's amazing. Yeah, it's not doing good. Oh man, that was a lot of damage from the jump. I do think that Porsche has more bangers than high stakes. Google it if you've never seen it or put it on YouTube. You can move an entire house. How is this so front heavy? Holy shit, like it slams into the front. So there's more to the story than me just winning the tournament in Need for Speed Porsche. I kinda embarrassed, embarrassed second place. So second place was about five years older than me. Like I was... I was 11 at the time and he was like 15, 16 and we had our grand finals but in grand finals he made a mistake, he spun out so I was able to actually lap him, I think it was like a 5 lap 5 lap race in Monte Carlo, the very very final race and as I lapped him I spun him out <laughs> <laughs> to add some extra insult to injury, I spun him out as I lapped him in the, in the grand finals. He was really not that good, at least not in comparison to me. I mean, when, when I was 11 I had zero social calibration, so you know, all I cared about was winning. Didn't get the bonus money this time. Oh, Classic Era is already beaten. You can win the bonus car for the Classic Era, but you do have to win the race. You can't decline, which is stupid. You know what was interesting about the Need for Speed tournament? I was a pure keyboard and mouse player and they said I can't use I can't use keyboard and mouse. So they actually forced me to use a wheel and pedals. It was it was still automatic. It was still automatic, but only gas and brake pedal and of course a wheel. But they forced me they forced me to use it. And that was that was pretty intimidating. That was literally the first time I played with pedals and wheels, so I, I just played by intuition. And that is when I was 11. Like, I really wish, I really wish my parents would have had the money to send me into karting and stuff. I think, I think I would have done really well, because I had, I had the talent. Like, I was naturally gifted in racing games from a very young age. I think it would have been quite interesting to see how it could have developed. Might have had a car accident and died while karting. True. 
or it could be in Formula One. <laughs> right? <laughs> everything, everything on the spectrum is possible. But I will introduce you now to the tuning system. So let's get some four throttle bodies, medium performance carbs. I remember I barely understood what I was doing here. And I was also, I was missing some performance parts because I didn't know what I was doing. So the high, I'm not a fan of the high speed gearbox because this car is kind of slow by itself. Bump upgrades, I mean, supposedly increasing the aerodynamic. So when you go to car setup, you can actually install the custom parts. So you have to buy the custom parts and then you have to install them. One thing that can then can help with slow cars is pump up the tires to the maximum. Less rolling resistance, better suspension, better springs, better bumper and slicks. You also can buy different rims if you don't like you don't like the look of the stock rims. Things you can you can throw the car into the corner. It's quite nice and then it starts drifting and you have a nice little bit of a drift corner. It feels a bit like rally. Hey, today's stream has been sponsored by Mad Monk. Greens, amazing supplements. Link in the description below. 911 turbos only. Ooh, the, these are now we're in the era of the Widowmakers. A year before I was born. Ooh, we can actually buy 959. I mean, if I had the money, this is stupidly expensive. The only way to afford this car right now is to play the auction house. Let's do it. 100%. <laughs> What's my typical goal to reduce them? So, Tito. Six. <laughs> That's the fast you can make money. Duh. <laughs> Amount of time to fix. I like money. Okay, I think I have enough money. I want it in red. Ching. Very nice. This car doesn't usually pop up in the career mode unless you install it first. Ah, uh, it's still not balanced though. Oh, damage, dude. This one little jump. 7,000. PlayStation version, they're actually substantially different. They're completely different games. They're only based, they're only based on the Porsche history, but they are super different. It's actually fun if you damage your car here. Wow, that was unlucky. <laughs> the car looks a bit derpy. The way, the way I broke the front of the car. <laughs> like, it's like it's a car from Cars. Or he's pogging, I don't know. You can buy the Carrera 4 or the 944 S2. But since we already have one of those, I would say let's go for the Carrera. Especially, we can probably get a whale tail for it. See, that's already worth 24,000 more. And only one year has passed. Two years have passed since the release. But we bought it in 80... I think we bought it in 88 for 600. So already, already nice appreciation on our assets here. No whale tail though, at least not on this one. We do, wow, 25,000 in, 150 out. We're gonna race Alps on Auvergne, which is, whoa, fatal. Ah, oh, the damage, dude, that's gonna be expensive. Oh, 20,000, the end of the Alps. So, class two only. That was a class three car. Buy another one. <laughs> I think I can buy it, but I think I can use it. I think the game is like, this is a bonus car, you can't use it. Let's give it a try. It is in class 2, yeah? class 2 only. And for some reason the game thinks it doesn't reach, it doesn't meet the classification. Which is a bit weird, because that's one of the like special cars. You cannot use the cars in general, right? Let's see if we can sell it for the price that I bought it for. Hey, nice. Alright, let's do a race without any upgrades. I'm curious, I'm curious how the opponents, how strong they're gonna be. Can I win in a stock? Oh, they have very effective, holy shit. Dude, not having, not having handling upgrades is really obvious. <laughs> like, you're immediately a midfield car if you, if you upgrade, if you don't upgrade your car. But we're definitely gonna need upgrades. 75,000 in upgrades. And yeah, now, now we get a com competitive car here against Dylan. Ho 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 ho! Oh, poor Dylan. There's this corner sticking out right there. Got super stuck on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was dirty. That was murder, man. I just did a backflip hitting the wall so hard. I think that was worth that was worth the repair. Oh, Dylan P6 now. You know, I would pay a decent amount of money if there was video footage of me racing as an 11-year-old and winning that tournament. That footage would be worth gold, if you ask me. I would love to see that picture. I would love to share that. Uh, that that footage with you guys like my first ever racing tournament was dominating I just I just want to see it 
again. We can only buy the 3.6 liter turbo. Yeah. <laughs> also, Broke, I wanted to get Micro. Actually, he barely did not hit me there. If he would have hit me there, I would have I would have taken damage. It was one of those Matrix moments where I just dodged through. You know, another thing that I remember from this Need for Speed Porsche tournament, the organizers were also heavy Porsche players. And they thought that they would be better than the competitors, right? So after I won the tournament, they actually invited me to play with them. And then I won against them too. Like they, they were beyond impressed. It's actually it's actually another memory that I unlocked recently. But like they realized they realized how good I was at that game and they thought they were better than you know like kids that are competing in this racing game, right? Like the organizers, both adults. One of them definitely had a kid that was also playing. But that, that kid was like, I don't know, seven, couldn't play for shit <laughs> at the time. But I remember his dad and his colleague racing against me and also losing. This was actually the first Need for Speed that I played online now that I think back. This had a fantastic online mode. One thing that I haven't done yet that I absolutely want to do in the future, it's called IP Lounge. Software used to multiplayer these old Need for Speed games. Also works with high stakes as far as I know. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> oh my shit. <laughs> no damage this time. I like that you get rewarded for clean racing in this game. That is literally the only reason why I would actually care for my car in video games. Where you would actually get more money if you don't if you don't crash your car. Right? It's not even about, you know, not paying repair fees. Not only do you not pay repair fees, but they actually pay you for a clean race, extra. Like, that's the motivation that I need. Because I will crash my car and repair it and I don't care. But, if I get paid for not damaging my car, then you got my attention. Alright, this is the last one. The 2000 tournament. <laughs> We're not repairing this one. So, I could get a GT1, but I can't use it. <laughs> I have to buy this one. Okay, since it's the final, final turbo, I think black is in order. <laughs> I think this is actually what, what it looked like in the opening opening cutscene now that the song is playing. The pink interior was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> that was so bad. I think the driving aspect is super enjoyable. Because the handling was fantastic, but they also made some really cool race tracks. And then you mix it with a soundtrack that is uh, satisfying. It's just a nice mix of a game. You won the game. Time for factory driver. Oh wait, we get a moment bon bon bonus car. The Win the race. Keep the car. If you put a modern engine in this car, I bet it would still be extremely competitive. In Le Mans and stuff. During the Porsche tournament, we did race Monte Carlo and... Oops, this car. Have you heard of this game? You should check it out. If you like, like sim cates and you don't mind some old school graphics, but great handling, this is for you. Like, games like this made me fall in love with racing games. Actually, I wanted to see how much my 959 is worth. One point two million. See? That's a nice investment. Doubled, doubled in value over 13 years. Moby Dick got it for free. It's now worth 1.5 million. And GT1 is just 740,000 because you can still buy it. But yeah, basically any car you ever bought increases in value because you drove it and because it's old. I did buy a Spider earlier, an extra one. Yeah, that's actually the one that I bought. I sold the one that I got for free. All right, moving on to the next game mode, factory driver. So we arrived in the year 2000, we won a lot of races, we have 50 years of driving Porsche experience, so now we become a Porsche test driver. <laughs> he actually looks younger than us. I don't think, I don't think he's 50 yet. Also, we raced for 50 years, which means we're probably 70 at this point. Let's show them what 70 year old bones can do. <laughs> Welcome to the team. That was easy. <laughs> Test driving supervisor. So now, Dieter. We're gonna see him in the PlayStation 1 version as well. Time for our first assignment as our junior test driver. So yeah, he's gonna talk a lot and then he's gonna tell us to do some test driving. Because we're what? Porsche test driver. PlayStation 1 factory driver, more hardcore. I mean, the handling isn't that good in the PlayStation 1 version. That alone makes it harder. All right, Rolf. I, I heard you want me to do car on track. So let's do that. That was easy. <laughs> I couldn't even... It was close. I gotta say, the track design is so satisfying in this game. Like, I just full throttled the entire parabola there. That was fun. <laughs> ow. Ow. <laughs> Obviously, every test driver gets their own uh, Carrera. But also, this car cannot be used 
in devolution mode. I don't know why they set a flag on those cars that you can't use them for other things. It seemed, it seemed a bit unnecessary to me. Dude, that traffic car was so bullshit. <laughs> that could have not been placed any worse. We drive a little bit again, dude. How do I get two cars on a racing line? We need a magic traffic issue emote from now on. <laughs> you can kind of see it already. Like the cops, they have their own AI. It's really weird. I think this is where we have to go right. Yeah. This is where the drift of these cars just comes in so clutch. You've been hit by, you've been struck by. February 28th, 1999. That makes sense. Shit, I just really botched it. But so did he. <laughs> oh, balls, dude. <laughs> I love corners sticking out. You can really abuse them. And now the chief test driver. That was quick. We took his car. <laughs> I did get a bit lost there, but I think it might still be possible. Go, 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 go! Hey! <laughs> that was messy. Dude, I spent so long on this challenge the first time as well, because I had to learn, I had to learn manual gearboxes for the first time. That was literally the first game, because it forced you into The tutorial in Driver is insane. It's not holding your hand whatsoever. It's like, here's a list to do. Just do. It's like you're being thrown out of a plane and be like, hey, now you fly. Fly or die. <laughs> Swim or sink. Cli climb or fall, right? <laughs> GG! You deserve this recognition. Congratulations, you're the best driver we have. Which means new car and new plaque. Rolf. Time and time again, defeating the best drivers in the world. At least in Germany in, <laughs> in the Porsche Club. This custom paint job, quite the, quite the obvious one. <laughs> but they forgot to put in an engine, man. All right, GG's. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. It's better than the PC version. It's fairly similar, but PC is better for me personally. I know, I know some people disagree with me. Some people like the PlayStation version more, which I think is primarily nostalgia. Grew up with the PlayStation 1 version. I can totally see that like this being like your first PlayStation Need for Speed, possibly. You guys ready to start? When I'm done. Wait, did it just, did it just stop after Kuru H? <laughs> I guess, I guess five, five letters is all we get. Well, Kuru H, let's go. So, let's go to the Bosch Center, and I know I can get a better car if I buy a used one, so we're tricking, we're tricking out our selection here. Well, the things we do need a 356 right now, so that's the only option available. Let's take it. There's two things we can pick from. The advanced session or the novice session. The difference being is that you get 10 points in first tier, but it's obviously harder to get. Even in second place will get you 6 points, but if you play in the novice league, you get you get less points. So we go, we're going to advanced. We can qualify if we want to, which will give us a better starting position, but obviously it's going to take a lot longer. <laughs> no. Repair? No. You can change the setup if you feel like you know what you're doing. You can change the gear ratio, suspension stiffness, brake strength and brake balance. Okay, shall we qualify? Let's qualify once, because I don't think I will use that feature again. Oh, we got the rolling start actually for qualification. I guess that makes sense. So, and since we are playing on the Duck Station emulator, the game does look substantially better than the original on the PlayStation 1. And one thing that I know is that the game actually has slightly more detailed car models. Although I will say it's hard to tell. You know, just because of the limitations of the PlayStation hardware, I think it's hard to tell that the cars are supposedly having more polygons. So, camera perspectives. Far cam. Bumper cam. Close cam. Although far cam should be superior. This was made by Eden Games. The guys that ended up making TDU. Wait, did Eden Games make the PC version and the PlayStation version? Or was it EA Seattle that did the PC version? Oh wait, I think we're in a race. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Jump immediately into the race. Jump immediately into the race from the qualifier because it's already loaded. That makes sense. Save states. Whoa! 
Okay. This was the version you played as a kid. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people did. It's a bit more damage. Okay, let's mix it up. Let's use this car instead. First Need for Speed, it didn't have the same maps on PC. I think that might be true. I mean, this is a completely different game to the PC version, right? So it makes sense that it has different maps. And it actually has very, very different maps. The only overlap that you have is on some cars, because both games actually have different different car pools as well. My favorite non-PC Need for Speed. Huh, interesting question. Okay, the first game that popped into my mind was Hot Pursuit 2. Yeah, in this game you have the 917 race car and the, actually a bunch of other race cars too. With a lot more race liveries than the PC version. On the PC you have the 935, the Moby Dick. <laughs> I gotta say, this might be, this might, like, until PlayStation 2, you probably have better audio quality than visual quality, you know what I mean? Like, the games definitely sound better than they look. Shit. <laughs> maybe, maybe I change the buttons. I think, I think this might happen more often. If I don't change the buttons. Because I wanna, I wanna use like my speed up button, right? But I changed, I changed the buttons to what I usually do. So it messes, it messes with my head. So, and looking for 911. Can get a 911S. Can afford it? 23, 6, I can barely not afford it. Sad. And to be fair though, that one, that one's probably better anyway, simply because of the extra, extra handling. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be fine. You don't need brakes, it just slows down. So, welcome to Factory Driver. We're now Junior Test Driver, similar to the PC version, just a very different game and event. You know what I don't like about stuff like this is when you see the the arrows so late. Right, you only see the arrow once you trigger another one. There are some really difficult <laughs> challenges in this game. I remember having a bunch of issues with the handling in this game in general. Hi there. They actually changed the names for the guys too, right? Did he actually... Did he actually say his name somewhere uh, da, da, da. he's the top test uh, no but to be fair the flavor text is kind of it's completely forgettable not something not something i care about reading i'd rather do my challenges <laughs> i put traffic car playstation 1 version is completely different not only looks wise it's a different game I think this is the, one of the first times where it's like really obvious that you get a different version on console and on PC. And PC definitely won. You've proven to be on top test driver. It's way shorter. It's way shorter on the PlayStation than on the PC. Oh, it is quite damaged. Let's see if I can win. Let's see if I can win with the damaged car. So we just need money. It's always good to do this twice. Might do it again without without actually repairing the car. Because <laughs> I think repairing this is quite expensive. Oh, my, okay, I get 60k. I think it's fine. But this is really way when you stop having money problems. Okay, we did win all the tournaments we did win there's actually weekend races we can also win but the only thing that they give us some money do you think they give you an extra trophy let's see there sh should be somewhere I think home yeah trophy room yeah weekend trophies is like a separate thing and they do disappear like if you want to do 100 completion you gotta grab the weekend trophies the game was weird not really i think i think they were just struggling using the playstation one hardware but it was a pretty different direction that they took from the typical need for speed formula but I think I think even though Porsche was a fantastic PC game, it didn't sell as much as they wanted it to. But it did land them a fantastic deal. I think at the end of the day, it was super, super worth for EA. Whoever struck that deal with Porsche to get exclusive rights to Porsche cars and video games for 15 years, that guy deserves deserves an extra paycheck, a pay raise, or whatever. Like, that was an insane deal that they got with Need for Speed Porsche. Like, every game from 2000 to 2015 didn't have Porsches unless... Unless they actually paid EA to use them. And I think only Forza did that once. Where they paid EA to use the Porsche license that they had exclusive rights to. Like, how do you even get 15 years of licensing rights? Like, insane deal. Absolute insane deal. You would never see anything like it nowadays. Imagine, imagine a single racing game manufacturer gets Porsche rights for 15 years. It expired in 2015, started for 2000, ended in 2015. So in 2016 you already saw other games having Porsche cars again. 20 years of Toyota, license next. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think, I don't think Toyota wants to touch them. I don't see that happening. Oh yeah, they put roofs in pretty much every racing game. Roof was a tuning company which took Porsche cars and made them faster. So you saw roof everywhere. You like the PlayStation 1 version more? That's such a weird take. Did you play the PC version? Because I really don't see it. 
I've played both versions many times and PC is just superior to me. Most people and most people that I saw are saying that the PlayStation version is better are the ones that never played the PC version. The damage from falling over. It can also happen in this game. Yep. I should have said in this race. You can pretty easily flip your car. Why does he have two trophies? <laughs> why does the why does the guy have two trophies and look like somebody is sucking out his soul? <laughs> see grass once a year, dude. I now have a garden. And now I have a garden and that means I get to see grass every day. I'm not touching it every day, but I have it. I feel like touching grass is generally overrated unless it's like a lot of grass and really good, really good quality grass. The thing is a lot of the opponents actually have the 959, which is really powerful. Also really expensive. But those 959s are really hard to beat. I'm not sure, I'm not sure this car can do it. Do I really, do I really have to overspend like them and get a 959? <laughs> this, it's a nice, it's a nice number though. I like money! Yeah, I, I just remembered the same thing myself. I never beat this tournament unless I had a 959. The opponents, like three of them have them. I mean, you could do the novice tournament, but even there, they're driving 959s. So, yeah, forget about it. You have to overspend just as much. The game just wants you to grind here. And this is why this car is so stupid. Like, you also have to enter this tournament with, like, an extra half million just for repairs. I think I always ended up buying the red one of this car. The red version of this car. A bit, uh, a bit of a missed opportunity is that these cars are only available on the PC after you download them extra. And then they can't be used in the career mode. I'm not sure if they can... I mean, uh, I'm fairly certain they could be modified to remove the flag that they can't be used in the career mode. It'd definitely be nice. The tracks in the game has been kind of fun. I mean, I generally enjoy just having a bunch of different locations to race in. Although, I will say I would like some slightly better graphics. I gotta say, PlayStation 1 and below is a little bit too weak in graphics for me personally. You don't see... You know, I find it weird when a game has a damage model, but it doesn't show you the damage on your car until you finish. I'm sure you get some visual indicators, but even on the PC, they tell you how much damage they got. Also, I feel like they... They got together and talked about the game elements, which should be in the game. Like damage that you have to repair is in both games. So I assume that there was some kind of meeting at some point, even between the PlayStation and the PC development team. So you might remember this track previously from 1950s where everything was dirt. Now it's Tomic. It has become a lot faster track. Actually, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if the cars move faster just because it's cemented. My worst rage moment. Pretty sure there's a nice clip for it all over the internet. Off to the modern era. One thing that I'm surprised about. Sometimes a tier 3 car randomly pops up. The box size looks good. But it's not as good as the Carrera 4. Hmm, that one seems even better. They're talking to Criterion and they mentioned me. Really? What did they say? Oh, I bet, I bet they said who is cool. One thing that I noticed on the PlayStation version is a pretty limited amount of tracks. Does anyone know the exact number? Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Too much turbo. Hey, we actually found a new track after all this time. True, there are a few more new tracks coming at the end here. True, you can take a shortcut. I'm not sure if it's this track or another layout. Is it this one? Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. True, true, true. Okay, this is actually quite funny. Okay, here it is. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> no checkpoints. Pog. Oops. Wait, I, th I think it, it still works if you turn around. No checkpoints, no problems. Oh, 100%. 100% the speed on straight right there. Against you beat this the right Congratulations. You won the race. <laughs> hey, guys, remember? Remember the guy in the middle? I can't, I can't point with the mouse on it, but you can see him. Like where it says Boxster S. That guy looks really weirdly similar to me, if you ask me. Especially, especially when I didn't have when I didn't have my my mustache, right? <laughs> like hairline and nose, super similar. No, I'm not even kidding. Take a look at the guy. Cruz, Eastern European brother. Why Eastern European though? Only the big nose doesn't fit, dude. My nose is not tiny. <laughs> so class two. That one, 911 RS. Which, which car? This one? I assume that's it. Oh, there's a bigger one though. There's a 3.8 liter. Yeah, it's also the last class two car. I mean. There's really too much left. Like, what do you, you buy a GT3, you buy a GT2, you buy a GT1, you do you do that race on the on the racetrack. Although I think the racetracks are not as good as these world tracks that the game has to offer. We've definitely seen most of what the game has to offer. I'm trying to see these few extra events that unlock at the end. Why? 
am I getting so wrecked on this event though? Like how are the opponents so fast here? I have no idea why they are so strong. I mean this car just must be bad. <laughs> maybe maybe you need an all-wheel drive car. True, I did pick a car that's rear-wheel drive. I think it just has super slow acceleration because of it. If the opponents, if the opponents are using all-wheel drive cars, they're gonna have a massive advantage. Alright, let's go for a four-wheel drive car then. That is not the displayed color whatsoever. <laughs> I think it is all-wheel drive considering the better overall stats. And this game also gets brutally difficult to towards the end. But yeah, I should probably turn back the game speed again. But how did he how does he recover so fast? What is this acceleration? Fun to work, dude. Okay, you ready for Japan? You miss racing games with uh, shortcuts and a track layout. Yeah, it is fun. It is it is like an old school thing at this point. Okay, there's one more there's one more event I wanna do. I'm gonna need a GT1. Those guys, those guys are tough to beat. If you take too much damage in the beginning, they kinda run away. Alright, GG. Alright, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for watching the Need for Speed Marathon. But yeah, I'm out for the night, so sleep tight. Definitely do come back tomorrow for more. And good night. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see me play even more Need for Speed games, then make sure to tune in for the Need for Speed Marathon. This event will go on for two months, and we're gonna play nearly everything the Need for Speed franchise has to offer. Enjoy.